All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I got a little shark. Yeah, hi. What's up? All right, we got a little we got a little brown cat here. Meow. All right, meow. Guys, I don't know how else to say this, but we got a little brown princess here. And she has been really annoying the shit out of me, so we're gonna begin the return from this break with a snuggle break. Now, for any of you who don't know how the snuggle break works, essentially, we support the cat's butt, and then the cat sits on our shoulder and rubs against the ear. Yeah, that's good. Just rub against the ear. Mm. Train now, of course. Uh, trainer's available. I think... We, have a, we can't do a guest lecture anyways, huh? What do we want you to get better at? Probably treatment, too. Yeah. All right, there we go. We get we get a little baby cat time. All right, hi, Sheriff. She needs some afternoon snuggles. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, right on the face. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and this is where we push heads. This is where we push heads. All right, this is where she digs her claws into my arm. That's a good cat. Yeah, just get the claws in there. Yeah, it's all right. I can always buy new clothes. I can always heal. See this little sweet cat? She just kind of hangs out there. Yeah. Isn't that just great? I basically sit at home and we got one cat that wants me to grab her leg and shove her around the ground. That's the weird thing about cats is that like... Cats cats are actually little state machines. Are, oh, I'm sorry, are we not done? Or is, is there more? Okay, let's just sit here and think about that. That's good. Let's just have a seat. Don't don't think too much. Had a tough day. Yep. Lick lick me right on the face. Yep. Rub against the nose. Yep. Do you want to get the other side of the side of the nose? Nope. The eyebrows. Maybe the forehead. Yeah, we're not quite sure what our goal is. We're figuring it out as we go. It's not important that you're right. It's important that you do your best. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to the forehead. That's good. It's got a nice texture to it. Oh, let's go to the hair. Yeah, we've settled on the receding hairline. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're having we're having a nice time here. See, cats are actually little state machines. Yeah, that's that's everyone else. Hi. That's everybody. Who's watching us? Don't worry about that. It's just my phone. I shouldn't have it on vibrate. Wanna go to the castle? Alright, there we go. Oh, that's good. That's good. What's my phone vibrating about? Is it an alarm I had set? Yeah. <clears throat> Dude. All right. So cats, cats, cats are actually tiny state machines. No cat is actually guided by anything than four prime goals at any point in time. And it's like different for each cat. Like, my cats have very different personalities, but if I were to look at each cat and say, what's going to happen next? It's at most four things. So what Sheriff likes to do is she likes to curl up into a ball and sit somewhere. That's one of her states. Uh, and of course she has, there's, there's some variation to this. Sometimes it is the rightmost arm of the sofa, never the leftmost. Not under any circumstance, because that's not, it's not in her programming. She just doesn't, it's not even an option that exists, okay? So she's got that state. She also has um, upside down by the window between the hours of 1 and 6. It's always that window. Sometimes she'll arrive late to that state. It's not that when it's 1, she goes there. It's that she will only will be there between 1 and 6 when the sun is pouring in from the west. Um, you know, she'll, she'll often sit in the heating pad. That's about it. These, these are kind of like the three locations that Sheriff uh, likes to get into the ball and sit there. Second state, second state of the cat, is running frantically to and from nothing. That's the second state of Sheriff, right? That's the second one. So she, see, she sometimes, you just hear like a tiny horse in the house. The brr, 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 brr. And then she'll look at you and you'll go, hey. And then she'll jump into the air and just run something. She's just going. She's in, she's in go mode. Third state of the cat, snuggle time. 
All right, that's state three that we just hit. State three, where she just comes to me and she circles and meows until I pick her up and then hold her here and she rubs against me. Now, you might be wondering what she's doing right now. Do you hear her running? Do you hear? No. She's actually lying down on the cat castle in a little ball. She went back to state one. Twice a day, Sheriff enters state four, which is feed me immediately. And that's the cat. You now understand 100% of Sheriff. That's what she likes to do. These are her things. <laughs> Adora says, aren't we technically all four state machines? I guess that's right. Well, what am I? Streaming, eating, watching TV, or playing games on my computer? Yeah, I guess, God, I guess I have four states. Right, what's happening in this game? I can't believe people are thirsty right now. Thirsty and bored? Oh, for God's sake. Do I... Can I purchase anything that's entertainment? Celebrating a loss, mourning a recovery. There's something for every occasion. Trophy case. Trophies are from a car boot sale, but patients don't need to know that. Reduces hunger, reduces boredom, reduces boredom. So the air conditioning unit reduces boredom. <laughs> that would be great. Luxury snacks machine. Eye poster, Rorschach poster, food pyramid poster. Oh, tiny. Cheese water canvas. All right, how do we reduce boredom in this? All calls be recorded for our amusement. This music is fantastic. Uh, what are we gonna do now? I'm thinking. I'm thinking we just go for whatever cheap anti-boredom we can. Other entertainment is there a book bookshelf? People don't like books, but I really like them. Does this fit in here somehow? No. Magazine rack. All right, let me just go back to items because then it will show up here. But a bookcase would fit there. Amazing. What about thirst? Are people still dying of thirst in this place? I understand how people are capable of this. Do I need to build an indoor fountain for people to stop being so damn thirsty? Alright, what's this? Jazz hands. Alright, great. There's literally a drink machine right there, dude. Oh my god, I need a break room. Doctor acquired. Well, let's just build a break room first. A luxurious 5x4 break room. I like the only thing that's needed in here is a sofa. Alright, let's pimp this thing out, man. Let's put a drinks machine in here. Salty snacks. Snacks and snacks. First things first, a radiator. Choo -choo -choo. Foo -foo -foo. Dartboard. Oh, sick. A television. Yeah. Beanbag. Oh my god, hell yes. Punching bag. Oh. Yeah, let's put a sweets dispenser in here. That's nice. There we go. 
All right, now sanitize yourselves before you exit this. Yeah. All right, I like books. Let's get some bookshelves in there. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Oh, plants, don't think I forgot. Blam, right on the other side of the TV that's in the middle of the room. Boy, that's weird looking. Done. Success. Mark it as a W. Can I even fit a room in here? Barely. Oh, is this the staff? There you go. Just sip a little bit in your own place. Oh, goodness. All right. We shouldn't keep curing people, promoting people. Let's actually put a radiator in this hallway here, man. Boy, it is cold in here. We need more diagnostics rooms? Well, we have a general diagnosis. Are there any other diagnosis rooms that exist? Maybe cardoidology? Why not, man? All right, we gotta put some filing cabinets in there. Boom, bam. I mean, at this point, I, I'm just sort of like spamming with stuff. What's this, new staff? No, I'll look at that in a little bit. We gotta get some plants in here. Hand sanitizer, plants. Coffee maker. Of course, get that heart rate up first. Hand sanitizer. Yuck, you're gross. Yeah. Do I really need a drinking fountain? All right, who who should go in here? Who should go in here. You think a new nurse? Oh, dude, Josiah Casserole. Remote. Remote. Staff training. Train now. Train now. What course do we want Dr. Cat Gold to get good at? I like treatment, too. Taught by this person. We might have ran ourselves out of doctors, but... What is this? What's, what's your letter? Nice. We're close to our oh. season. oh, I should put a drinking fountain in here, 100%, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. You know, I don't even think we're gonna get five. I gotta be honest with you, I think we're going to get two. I think we're somehow going to get Doctor of the Year. Miracle every time. I think we're going to get Nurse of the Year. Miracle. Can't believe we get it at any point in time. I think the No Deaths one, we probably won't get. I don't know if it's connected to the ghost infestation that was literally haunting me. Ugh. Unbelievable. Bell Pong. Dr. Bupong. Mark in that sopping wet W for us. Are we gonna get Nurse of the Year? Unbelievable. Perry Husky. It's a Perry Husky boy. Rising Star? Oh my god, did we pay someone off? Is this rigged? I'm starting to be suspicious. Perry Husky's won two in a row. I don't know, Perry Husky. All you, all you did was be thirsty. Employee of the Year? Player of the year. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We are the best employer. I didn't even provide water to the staff. Wow. Wow. I feel like this is something that you have to go through as an adult. You have to learn what what you actually appreciate about yourself relative to other people because all you're ever compared to is the 
if you if you're like, hey, I look good today, your brain goes, remember that 8.2 million follower Instagram model? Remember him? I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh hey! I did a pretty good job today. It's school. Oh, remember that kid that's never gotten anything wrong, that has never seen an A in his life without a plus next to it? Oh, yeah. Hey, remember when you did a good job building your hospital? Uh, well, I don't know. A lot of people died. I don't know. I feel like this is one of these awards ceremonies where it's just like a bunch of people who are not connected to the to the real world giving each other awards. Alright, let's open it. Okay, right, good. Yeah. Alright. Is the Earthquake Ghost Ridden Hospital the most prestigious? What a travesty, yes! Five. We got five of them. I don't believe it. We have so many prestige. We have like up to five prestige. It's incredible. It's incroyable. All right. Well, I guess we have to keep getting back to being a raving success. Zoe Explosion is ready. Did I hit her with the knot now? I think I just promoted her. Take Massive. You're doing great. Cardoidology. Let's go ahead and get some items in here. Alright, we don't want everyone to get salty snacks and drinks. I mean, we're slowly just curing more and more people. I'm feeling like we're really great. Holy cow. Apex gifted five subs. Truscafa, Icarus Runner, Tadalo, Ski Dude, 9678, and NJR0604. Darkeros with the one year. The fauna are reminded not to disturb the flora. I think we're just we can speed this puppy up, man. We don't have to slow this bird down so much. I mean, things are going great. Swimmingly smooth as far as I'm concerned, man. Alright, we got some seats. What's what's that need? Let's make a baby toilet. I forgot about that radiator. Or that light head poster. Put it, put it. It's bullshit. Alright, sanitize the hands. Probably hand dryer. Boom, there it is. Control button, best button. Pow! Oh my god, the prestige of this toilet room. 
How are we doing heat-wise? It's a little chilly here, but if you complain, you can go somewhere else. It must get weird mm -hmm. hearing this voice coming out of nowhere every few minutes. But don't worry, I'm not inside your head. I'm just inside your radio. That's where the music lives too. <sighs> music like this. My God, Sarah Dobson is bored, thirsty, and cured. I can think of nothing more American than being bored, thirsty, and cured. Oh no, I'm not diseased anymore. I'm bored. Is there any water? Ugh. I need a macchiato, God. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna actually, is there a way to graph complaints over time? Cause I wanna, I really wanna know. Not, cause I mean, everyone always talks about the complaints, like, you know, the, the, wow, you know, 600 years ago, it was, you didn't know if your kid was gonna live through the winter. Like, it was a really big deal. I'm talking about what was the trite bullshit 500 years ago and 450 years ago, and so on and so forth. That's really what I want to know, man. Because, I mean, here I am just so annoyed at my digital character. I don't believe it. Ugh. Guys, this is my knee. Welcome to my knee. That well, We should rename the community. It's no longer the day nights, it's my knee. Welcome to my knee. Let's actually let's actually give it a shot. We got Spectre 741. Welcome to my knee. Dubiosaurus, welcome to my knee. It's a joint that I use to bend. Trihardosaurus. Wow, two dinosaurs. Both of you, welcome to my knee. Night Demon. Welcome to my knee. Alright. Let's do it. Ah! Unpaused. You know what? I hope you die of boredom. In the middle of the earthquake, Sabrina's like, go 90 days without a death. Oh, Sabrina rubbish. Oh my god. You neutrally expressioned woman. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll go 90 days without it. It's not gonna be an issue. All right, I just said yes. Let's get some items. Let's build some lady rooms. Shitty leaflet stand. Let's have a bookshelf. Back to back with another bookshelf, huh? And in between that, can I put a clown poster up here? Yeah. I really like posters. Oh my god, yes, please. Cat bap. Alright, cat bap. Cat bap bap. Cancel this. 
cancel, just cancel it. Oh, dude, I'm so broke. Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. Here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna put this on slow speed because I'm tired of pausing this nonsense. We're picking this up. Boop, rotatey, bloop. Boop, rotatey, bloop. Bloop, I said bloop, bloop. There it is, all right. Rooms, no problem. GP's office. How many GP's office are we gonna get? Like a lot. Pow. Right in the corner of your tiny little room that is having at most three prestige. You get one filing cabinet. What do you think, is this a charity? God. But I want to be prestige level three! You get nothing. You get one radiator. There's a hand sanitizer. You better use it. We're going to pull one of those big signs. All doctors must sanitize their gross little fingers before entering the rest of the hospital. Where's my plants? Right, you don't even get a nice plant. You get a cactus. Oh, God. Right, put your scale in the corner next to the cactus. If someone's too ashamed, at least they can slam their face down on this thing. You get every poster imaginable, though. That's what we get for you. You get clown posters, you get light posters, you get eye test posters, you get brain posters. There's my brain in that. There we go. That's what you fucking get. Take that. I hate the doctor that works in this thing, let me tell you. And guess who it is? It's Dr. Dr. Amy Flavor. Enjoy hell. Alright, let's do the exact same thing again. Today's sponsor is right. No one gets to be warm because it can't fit. We can't fit any more warm into the building. Short-term eel-based needs. This is Two Point Radio. A bin. And sanitize it right by the front door. Put a plant in there. Put it, the plant right by the radiator where plants love it. We're gonna hire Josiah Ruck. Alright, good. It's the queue length in these little tiny rooms. Let's go ahead and buy this right before we go into debt, huh? Seems good. Did you see that? The instant I bought it, we're at negative 30k. I don't believe this. Here's the most amazing thing. I'm gonna go to Thirsty. Actually, that's pretty fair. We don't have any water fountains down here. Pretty fair. Well... We're gonna have to take this drinking fountain and put it over, man. We don't have the funds. We just have one water fountain in the building. We just keep moving around. Right in the middle of that hall. No problem. What? Guys, 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 guys. I want to edit this real fast. Exit this. No, what? You you get booted if I just hit edit? Oh, my God. Fit one more room here, which is nice. Doo -doo. Big, massive. Customer service, too. Trainers available. Sabina Rubbish. Let's start this training. Let's also hire another assistant. Oh, Penelope Dynamite. We are going to literally... We seek financing to hire you. Never mind. You're not worth it. We're just going to use our basic funds. Bam. Q length of three and a Q length of two. All right, cool. Around the, around the bam, thousand bits. Managed to break away from work, DJ time. God damn. Around the bam, God. 
Always good to have you, man. We are an absolute all-star manager of the crises that befall us. Where are my nurses at? Oh, let's hire another nurse. It's fine. Oh my god, Penelope Spatula is just exceptional. Alright, give me them loans. Alright. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Continue. Continue, 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 continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hiring. Do any of these things not have any? I mean, this shouldn't take that long. It's gonna take forever. Good luck. Okay, what is this? Okay. Whew! Alright, I mean, there's only there's only a handful of beds here, which I think we're okay with. Use ward if you can afford it. We have a lot of days left, so I feel like we're gonna be okay. Unless someone dies, in which case it's like fucking terrible. This is Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Fear not, faithful listeners. Your favorite radio personality, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, is back. As much as I would like to quit this infernal booth forever, I just cannot deprive you of my wit. I take the responsibility of being your only source of intellectual stimulation very seriously indeed. More instantly forgettable melodies coming up next. What? Wait. What? We actually did this? No one died for 90 days? Wow! Oh my god, I'm gonna celebrate by paying off my loan. Bam! There it is. Thanks, bank. Why are all these people just stuck in the halls, man? Let me just... Go to the loo. Place in the queue. Everyone needs to read some books. And leaflets. We're about to get a one-star rating. It's amazing. All these light bulb people. When is our receptionist done with our amazing training? Because we have like a huge queue building up. So if I do this, why are there so freaking many people in cardiology? Can I build another heart racer? I guess I gotta build another one. You don't need a cardiologist to tell you your bones are freaking broken, dude. Training course completed. Let's get your heart rate up. Let's put a drinking fountain in here. Hand sanitizer by the door, as always. Two radiators. Oh my god, I'm so good. I'm I'm so good. I'm amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 
you're doing a smashing job of gluing together all those witless activity bandits and never seen the appeal of pursuits al fresco myself. Land should be owned and profited from, not used as a venue for wanton perambulation. What's perambulation? Is that just like meandering around in a relaxed fashion? Is that just sort of like chilling? And that was like sauntering perambulation? Perambulation is fancy walking? Alright, cool. We were close. Oh my god, Sacriel with the host of 3,806. My god. That's the, that's the double hosty today of Dan's Gaming and Sacriel. Well, if anyone from either the 42nd or... Actually, what's, what's Dan's Gaming's community? Oh my god, Sakri, it's such a it's such a thrill and delight to see you. Yeah, tonight we are doing mostly perambulating. I think, I think we're doing mostly walking. She just texted him. Just texted him. Oh, well. Investigating. Checking it out. Figuring it out. Continue. What's small radiator? Wait. No, wait. I gotta finish building this because for whatever reason, people want to run. Uh, Rorschach poster right there. And we're gonna, we're gonna slam a clown right next to that. Kabam. Stare at the clown. Uh, and then I think we're pretty much good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, Nurse Miles Curves. Get it. All right, so if I actually just look at, like, how's heating doing? How's our heating? Dude, everything is so great. Look at, look at how nice and toasty warm this hospital is, say, for this giant barren wasteland right here. All right, yes, Lee just texted me. We're definitely doing mostly walking in the eve. All right, we. I heard the dong. What's going on? Hospital value of one million? <gasps> Two star to cure a hundred patients? Dude, this is not going to be an issue at all. All right, I need another ward. You got it. We're going to build another ward. All right. Rooms. Look, people are dying, but I'm trying. I'm trying, everyone. Please respect the hospital grounds. No unauthorized. Alright, there's just like so many people breaking shit these days. Actually, let me. Yeah, I want to finish editing this. What's the queue length on these? Yeah, I mean I built two, so that helped a ton. We're just gonna we're gonna create our broken person throughput. I think that I should actually be favoring more large rooms instead of, like, a whole bunch of small rooms and just buying up more space. Prestige level two. Bang! I'm delighted to say I will be giving a lecture at our local university on the topic of pretentiousness. Namely, how to do it correctly. Perhaps my contribution will put a halt to the alarming decline in educational standards in our community. Great. Boom. Nurse station. Actually, a hub from which the ward is run. Well, should I put two in here? Should I put two in there? I mean, probably not. Let me, let me actually just bed it up. We don't need more than one screen. Oh my god, can we do like proper proper double-double ward? Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. This is this is a dream come true. Few words can express to me. <laughs> no words can express to me anything. They're just words. All right, let's get some lockers and filing cabinets up in this corner. Oh, it's going to be so sick. Check this shit out. All right, right by the bed. Boom. Is this bed operable still? You bet your butt it is. All right. Oh, what's that little bit of space for? What's a little bit of space for? Could it be for a radiator? Could it be for a radiator. What, what's a small radiator? Oh. It's a radiator for a baby. Alright, we're getting this moved. 
Yeah, this looks dumb, but boy, is it efficient. Yeah, oh my god, I can't even believe how sick this is. Oh, yes. Oh my god, how about at the foot of the beds? How about right between the two beds? Nothing? No, not a chance. A bedside table? A table on which patients can place their, their tat? What's tat? It, can anyone translate from British to English? What's tat? A wall monitor? Tat equals stuff? Wow, these are like some advanced words. Places with a wall monitor. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be so sick. I'm actually gonna place it here. Move this radiator right there. Boom. This is going back. Kapow. And you're not gonna believe this. Small radiator in the corner? I think so. Small radiator right there. Boom. No problem. No problem. It's like nothing. Plants? Oh, we got those too? She's got a whole bunch of plants here, man. This is a crazy nice looking ward here. This is a hell of a ward. And of course, if people are having a long stay, they're gonna want clowns. Let's make the wall of clowns over here. And let's just hurt anyone with OCD. There we go. That's good. That feels nice. It feels nice to just have that sort of impact on people, you know? Wall monitor. No, I think I think we're open for business. Let's just check the temperature. It's pretty toasty in there. It's pretty nice. This is gonna be a waiting area for sure, hundred percent. Not even close. Absolutely going to be the waitingest waiting area there ever was. Let's go ahead and put some. Let's put like a little bench here. There you go. Another two little benches. It's nice. Fire extinguisher. Don't need it. I think I've completely stopped placing fire extinguishers at this point. Like to live life a little dangerously, hmm? That's your pal day nine. That's your pal day nine for you. And radiators in the corner. Um, a bookcase. If you're gonna be lying in bed for a while, may as well get a book or a magazine. Yeah, I'm actually suddenly really self-conscious about the lack of fire extinguishers there. I should probably put, put that down. In today's oh, yes. guide to good manners, I would like to turn my attention to the selection and drinking of wine. If you are the type wine. that is content to swill the house red, oh my God, whatever wait. that may be, you have no place oh, yeah. in the Always fine promote establishment. Everyone. More than anything, however, you must remember that Fuck. one never spits out wine in a restaurant. You would be surprised how many do. Maintenance announcement. Toilets need routine servicing. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna build some toilets. Pretty smart. Uh-oh. Is it afternoon snuggle time? Sheriff? Look at me. What a dick. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, it is. Here she comes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's time. All right. Oh, yes. All right. Yep. This is a really nice part of every day. You know that? Let's get the tummy rubs. All around them pamps. A thousand cat bits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this music is perfect for this. Look at this little brown thing. You gotta get comfy. Gotta get comfy. You know what? Just come on up and just lie down in your spot. There you go. That's a good cat. Look at her little paws. Look how tiny this cat is. Hi. There's Sheriff. Sheriff, come here, look at me. Hi. I love you a lot. Oh, 
Oh, it tickles. Oh, it tickles so much. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, just just ease up. Let's play the video game together. Oh shit. Such a good cat. Yeah. Oh, it's a little sneeze. You okay? Yeah, you kind of look a little fucked up, huh? This cat's roasted, man. Very prestigious bathroom by any means, but when we put this brain poster on the wall, you bet your ass it is. Yeah, we don't need any more hand sanitizers. Total lie. Placing it in. It was invalid. Doctors? I don't even know what my doctors are doing. I'm just gonna hire more. Holy moly. You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. This is such the a nice old snack Foundation's room. healthcare division is nothing but a load of hocus pocus hogwash, if you ask me. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to see the only thing they're good at is brain watching. Rival executive now approaching the hospital. Length of three, no Q. Uh oh, uh oh, oh god. Dude, I love just watching the animations. Do I have any loans? So I got going out. What's this? She need to plant bomb this place. I mean, we are easily gonna get three stars. We literally just wait until we hit three stars. Someone's gonna speed this puppy up. I mean, we're not actually getting that many new illnesses. This is thus far been pretty straightforward. I mean, other than people dying. Wait, what? Dropped right on the jam. You can upgrade our drug mixer to make it more effective. You select the item and choose to upgrade it. Oh, that's right. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Is there anything else we can upgrade? And right now, I'm just hanging out, curing people. Being curative. AF. Why do people just wander into this big empty part of the hospital? Boo. People are cold outside. Well, that makes sense. Guys, be careful of that helicopter, you know. Where do I see. Is there any way to see global queue times? Get out of there. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can absolutely do that. I, this is like one of the only things that I can handle. Put the info tab in the bottom line. Maintenance. Boredom. Toilet, hygiene, staff, hunger, thirst, 
Temperature. Staff. Happiness. Health. Attractiveness! My empire. Alright, here they come. You know what? Oh god, there's vomit on the ground. That really sucks. They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, A Stretch Too Far. All right. This is two point radio. Hatch. Okay. So this is like this. Oh, cool. Deception pod. Oh my god. Oh, this is tight. Oh, I see. So we basically do one in each direction, huh? Yeah, no, I need to do some moving. I need to do some rearranging of things. Okay, so how, how the F am I going to do this? Okay, so let me... Let's delete this whole thing. Right over there. Okay, so let's build this whole reception empire. Shall we? Alright, so reception power, we're going to put two here. Everything stopped. It's quiet now. Shh. Silence. Absolute silence. Be still. Be completely still. It's going to be a very prestigious thing. Shh. I don't know why it's so quiet. No, 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 no. Don't stop building that. Shh. But the game doesn't want us to speak. Yeah, it doesn't even care. Right there. I have a small radiator right next to Susan, that's right. Get Susan a cooking. There it is. Huh? Oh. Uh oh. All right, this is probably a terrible idea. Whoa! Prepare to get reception. I don't want you to sit there. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Back to normal speeds. Are we okay? Alright, we have a huge reception area, but we like don't have any chairs for anyone.
Okay, 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 okay. Toilets need routine servicing. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, alright, we are succeeding. I didn't even think that many people are dying. This is great news. Hey! What's this? Uh, what do I actually want to train you in? Mechanics too. Just get other dude. And just get this dude in there and do it. Oh yeah, we can upgrade some stuff, can't we? Where's where's our extract pan? Is this it? Yeah, let's upgrade that. Has this been upgraded yet? Let's upgrade it. A little bit of death. Money's getting low. We can't afford the bills. Yes, we can. Q length one. Q length five. Q length five. Q length four. Q length five? What's this general? God! All I am anymore is general diagnosis. That's it. That's what I've become. Rooms. GP. How wide did I make this? Seven? Pretty upset about this. Do I even like this doctor? Do I even care that much about him? I mean, he's disgusting, so I'm gonna put a hand sanitizer there. But you know what? Everyone deserves coffee. Even the even the most obnoxious bottom ranker deserves coffee. Coffee is very important to me. It's very important to the world. It's very important. There's a plant smack dab in the middle of everything. Actually, how about a cactus? That's good. I can do no wrong. Finally, cabinet there. I'm gonna put this here. Let's put a bin there. Hand sanitizer. Oh, surprise! Different location. Boom! There it is. All right. People are notifying me of all sorts of nonsense, so I'm just not gonna pay attention to that. I'm just gonna keep placing virtually identical clones of offices everywhere. So that way, people get that sense of individualism. It's my exact carbon copy of the neighbor. Good. Let's put Rorschach over the outside. I'm uh, hearing that Augustus Lavender, the CEO of Holistics, visited a rival hospital today. No doubt offered to spread some ungodly incense around the place. As if oh. the remedies at any place in a hospital. Oh. Oh. It was suspicious, so I sent it to the lab. Apparently, it's what's known as a homeopathic poison. It's entirely safe to drink and actually quite tasty. Must really hate us. Challenge. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital. Rewards. 15 rep. Yes. Around and bam. Another thousand bits. This is for getting a friend to watch. Damn, around and bam. I, I, I sincerely hope that you are wealthy as hell and just splashing it around to have a good time. Otherwise, I'd feel marginally guilty. Oh. Either way around the bam, it's always greatly appreciated. Oh my god, we have the infamous Hiko Marukin at 73 years. And JP McDaniel for 66 years. Oh my god. And then Nukza for 66 years. Bella Morta 42. We the Twitch of Prima. Not now. Oh, it's cold in here. Can we put some little little radiators in here? Damn, the 
corner there. Invest that much more in this place. Let's get some drinking. Fountains. Much fountain. So drinking. Wow. Ooh, sweet dispenser. He doesn't love candy. Oh my god, so many subs in the sub train. Raz Grimm, Kevy Ward, Tau MD. Ooh, baby. Upgrade is the training. Staff. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Promote broken face. A condition that renders the face defective. Notable causes include daydreaming, faulty radishes, and high velocity cricket balls. Oh my god. Broken face. Oh my god, we actually cured enough. That's crazy. Alright. I'm thinking seven. I'm thinking seven. I'm thinking seven, seven, seven. All right. Time is at 5.43. I'll probably play for like 10 more minutes and then close out this puppy. Dude, Doctor of the Year right here, number one. Dude, Mini Sparrow, killing it. And then, Subsequently, number two is Gordon Sofa, the nurse of the year. You know, as a rising star, I'm thinking it's Tumble Hospital, man. Yeah, Lily Bench, rising star. Lawyer of the year, could it possibly be Tumble? This is great. No deaths. I gotta be honest. A lot of people died. A lot of people died this year. Sad. Oh god, best teaching hospital. Yeah, oh fuck, we didn't teach anyone anything. Tumble. Patient's Choice Award. If you're alive and you can vote, you probably pass through ours. Six. GP things. Can't believe cardiology has so much. A fracture ward's actually starting to get pretty popular these days. I mean, right now we're just kind of chilling here. Sir Nigel reviews, in which Sir Nigel reviews the new fitness center in Lower Bullocks. What's the, the staff steel request? Buns gym. Increase. I spent Wait. a very pleasant afternoon in the sauna, but did not care for the smells as one walks down the corridor. In short, I would stick with the perspiration spa in Grotto Do I just do this? We're really sprucing this place up, I gotta admit. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this. How do we 
can make this more beautiful. Oh, look at that. We did it. We did it. Spruced up. And let's just, just delete all these plants. Oh, them playing at the same time was so good. Not now. What time is mostly walking tonight? Jesus, it's almost mostly walking time. Right now it's 5.47. I'm actually probably gonna... I'm gonna probably stop playing right now. Is there a save game? Quick save. Great. Saving. Perfect. Super perfect. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the game. And, uh... In about five minutes, I'm just going to put a music and slowly close out. And then I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to be a dinnery guy. Eat myself some food. <sighs> After being a dinnery bear and eating dinnery things, I'm going to turn the stream back on in one hour. I'm going to do mostly walking. Where me and Lee, Sean Bouchard, continue to play through um, Blackwell Legacy. And I'm excited to beat it, for one, because I want to beat it. But for two, there's this new graphic adventure game that just came out called Unavowed that is apparently getting rave reviews. Um, I gotta say, today today has been super duper... Let me just quit to menu, because the menu music is... Save and quit. Menu music is, is otherworldly, if you haven't heard it. Just wait. But this was such a joyful day, man. I grew up playing a lot of Theme Hospital. It's a couple of those bullfrog games. I did a lot of grinding on. And it's actually, uh... <clears throat> excuse me. It's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of the bullfrog folks that have sort of spread out and done... I want to call them spiritual successor projects. Well, I don't know if a lot, but two. Uh, there was... Satellite Rain, the spiritual successor to... Syndicate Wars. It was amazing. Two Point Hospital. Spiritual successor to Theme Hospital. <laughs> Utark Jesus. Theme Hospital. Day I playthrough is still one of the best day off playthroughs he has ever done. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, the, the first few levels, I think... If you watch my Theme Hospital playthrough... Shit's going wrong pretty quickly. And I like when shit goes wrong. That's, like, some of my most favorite, um, ever. And I think that I'm still at the arc in the game where it's introducing you to and teaching you things. I, as a gamer, I want more harshness. And the game kind of gave me every opportunity to do that. Like, once you satisfy the dead basics, you can just move on to the next difficulty, the next, um, level. And I kind of stayed and hung out. Because there's another part of me that, as much as I love the difficulty, I just love watching simulations. Like, so much I love watching simulations. So seeing all the expressions and um, all the janitorial <laughs> work, like cleaning up the monobrow infestations. Um, so I think I should have sprinted forward to some more insane levels a little quicker in order to get to... Some of the the feeling of like starting and restarting and starting and restarting. I, I swear, that's one of my favorite things in any game. Start, restart. This is one of the reasons why I like multiplayer games a lot. Um, crisis Manager Day Night. Yeah, I love crises. I love crises. I love when just stuff is absolutely going to hell. And I almost feel like the, the biggest struggle with that is expectation management. Because if you start me off and you're like, hey, you're having fun and your hospital's going so great and it's getting better and better and better over time. And then you hit a huge crisis, you're like, oh. oh. Ghoststalker88 says, what is it about the restart that you find engaging? Um, I will describe, I really like the experience of restarting in games because it helps awaken you to being sensitive to the impacts of your decisions. That's the biggest thing. I really like seeing the impacts of my decisions and kind of developing an understanding of that. So for instance, um, 
I'm gonna make something up because I haven't gotten to the later, later levels. But for instance, um, I now want to build more GPs offices early because I keep noticing I just need so many of them. I might build one too early and then all of a sudden I don't have enough money to build a facility I really need. And oh, if only I had delayed that GP's office a little bit and managed that a little bit better. Wow, that would have been great. Or if I wind up with some huge traffic jam that's getting in the way of my ability to help treat my patients, so I design my hospital a little differently. And the more extreme and difficulty a lot of those things become, the more I feel like it starts to force you to really be aware, excuse me, of things in your game. And I, I just really love that feeling of the awareness of every little thing, of like the, the tension around a lot of the decisions. Early on in, you know, in levels one and two, it'd be like, we need a ward. And I'd be like, all right, just buy a ward, build whatever the hell I wanted in it, buy the best doctor, drop him in, and just, yeah, it was fine. And it was making money and it was great. I much prefer, uh, well, I shouldn't say much prefer. In the long run, if I'm playing game a lot, I much prefer the... Um, I'm building a space and I'm going, Ugh, okay, I, I should probably build two windows, but no more for this reason. I probably can only put in this much. We can't go for prestige level four. We got to go for prestige level three here. And here's why. I really like those sorts of feelings uh, when I'm playing a game. But gosh, it's so, it's so, I, I don't know if there's like a measure for this where the difference between enjoyment of a game versus nostalgia for a game. Like, like where, where that comes from. And I'm going to exclude Two Point Hospital and Theme Hospital from this because, I mean, frankly, I think Theme Hospital holds up. <laughs> but there's like that, there's just this feeling of like, I'm a kid again. That's like different from enjoying the quality of a game. So, uh, I mean... When I looked at the reviews for Two Point Hospital this morning, the open critic was at 91. And it, like, super makes sense. Right? <laughs> I think if I had a recommendation to anyone who would be picking up this game, I, I think that the difficulty level would be in the how quickly you move on to the next hospital. And if you're someone like me, I would probably encourage you to sprint as quickly forward as you can until the game starts kicking your ass. Because this didn't really kick my ass very much. Didn't make me laugh a hell of a lot. Um, especially at the start, just like all the little quips everywhere. Um, well, either way, I'm going to be hopping off for the evening because I have to set up for mostly walking in an hour, but I gotta eat first. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat, do some tummy time, pet the kitties, love the kitties. They're so sweet. Despy hasn't gotten enough playtime lately, so I gotta go play with string. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. We did an 11 to 6 stream. Yes, 11 to 6. 11 to 6. Um, and we're going to do a 7 to 9. Do a little twofer. It was wonderful to spend the morning and afternoon with all of you. Uh, in front of you who tuned in via Europe in the morning and are watching on YouTube, thanks for joining that. One is mostly walking back in one hour. In one hour. Thanks for hanging out, and thanks again for to Sega for sponsoring the stream uh, and providing the giveaway keys to give away copies of the game that Eric had been giving away on our Discord all day long. I'm out. I'll see you in an hour, everyone. 